special examination of digestive system in which the objective is uh, objectives are uh, the first one is the examination of the mouth of the animal and this is the most cumbersome uh, uh, task of a clinician because uh, uh, you know cumbersome means very very difficult we seldom go for examination of mouth because most of the cases are either canine and feline and in the absence of certain small things uh, uh, we do not go for examination of mouth and we lose so many diagnoses in the related to the mouth so our basic aim should be examination of mouth or the oral cavity for that the different types of mouth gag availability is must so i will show you we have a mouth gag for canine we have a mouth gag for feline and we are trying uh, we have one mouth gag for ruminants also but we are trying to purchase the real mouth gag picture that i have brought for you uh, so that we can examine the mouth because lots of cases of regurgitation suspected for uh, pharyngeal um, obstruction and suspect suspected for any types of foreign body we fail to examine we fail to appreciate by indirect palpation method so that is the main objective so examination of mouth is the main objective of this uh, system now, then uh, because 70 to 80 percent cases most of the people you have to depend on a large animal practice and for that human fluid examinations and human fluid collection is one of the objective of this practical whenever you will come we will try we have a two machine here uh, um i will show you the picture i will uh, give the picture one is manual which uh, operated by paddle and another we have just brought a, a suction pump that is uh, working uh, tremendously uh, uh, in a good conditions we have removed the fluids not only from the gi tract but from the uh, uh, urinary system of equines also so that works very well and i will show you the picture the simple suction pump can work in for the human fluid collection and for human fluid examinations then after collection of the human fluid that is the uh, part our next objective will be examination of human fluid and that will be dealt in the next class in which we will uh, discuss the protozoal activity test so cellulose digestion test the sedimentation activity test as well as the redox potential we will we will uh, dye the Uh, just like a smear examination, and we will try to see the different types of organism present in the human. Uh, so that will be the third objective. And then the whatever the collection we have made in radiological examination, whatever the collection we have made in radiological examination, uh, I will show you the picture. Uh, Sometimes there may be obstruction. Sometimes may I have one very peculiar case just now diagnosed. Uh, when i was discussing with uh, um, uh, in a webinar uh, you might be there with the uh, mahendra sir it was a esophageal diverticulum uh, that was examined by the x ray just hold uh, one minute uh, one serious case i have to discuss there uh, then the radiological examination we will discuss and the most important one the ultrasonographic examination actually uh, i will give here only i will show you the some of the picture of the ultrasound related to the gi tract and also with the liver and the spleen uh, but uh, really uh, there is one practical class for ultrasonography in which we will discuss in detail the basics of the ultrasonography how the organ different organ appears how the different layer of the gi tract is appreciated in ultrasonography and and the last the endoscopy some of the endoscopy cases done here uh, that is uh, the direct visualization that is the invasive method of treatment so uh, uh, on the basis of this six objective we will cover this practical class and now the uh, i have started the procedure um, every every objective has its own procedure the simple examination the application of the mouth gag itself has a procedure passing of a stomach tube passing of a endoscope inside the mouth or the placement of endotracheal tube itself is a procedure and we have to uh, today i will discuss only with the picture and whenever you will uh, get a chance just you bring the animal we will try to locate the different uh, cavity in the mouth and we will um, question again bada bada do 
वो बड़ा वाला डॉग आते सो so uh, we will try to learn the procedure the mouth of the animal should be examined first because this is the part uh, we seldom go for a diagnosis uh, recently a case is here brought from a different uh, place and the animal was showing a respiratory dyspnea and everyone and we also for the first two days thinking that something is there we are going for the x ray we are going for the different types of examination we are suspecting it to be a pulmonary edema case but uh, once when we have started just applied a mouth gag and just put a hand we have seen a big big tumor inside the mouth cavity and the small swelling was there in the on side and we were thinking that it was a case of actinovacillosis so that is the method of diagnosis once you put sometime you will get something or sometime you may not get anything so two cases recently in 2 to 3 days we have diagnosed the one i will discuss in cattle so what is the how uh, how useful the application of mouth gag in the small animal as well as in large animal so different types of mouth gags are available uh, we have picture of some of the mouth gag we have some mouth gag in our uh, colleges uh, in which i will show you how to apply the simple one so for different animals there are different types of mouth uh, gags are available and that will be dealt in the practical class when you will join here so the second uh, procedure is injection of ruminant is constituent is the most important process and we know uh, when the animal is not eating and neurotic for a very, a very long time uh, the farmers are very much worried and we go for antibiotic treatment we go for certain types of treatment but still we are not able to properly diagnose the disorder that is present inside the rumen for that we have to collect the rumen fluid because there are several chances there are several disease not only in the rumen but also in the small animals i will show you in picture uh, whether when we go for the spleen or contrast radiography it will be helpful in diagnosis of uh, so many diseases like gastric dilatation gastric dilatation valvular gdv is a very very uh, important uh, problem in case of a canine then spleno and uh, and, and hepatomegaly is also diagnosed they are related with the gi tract and i think uh, most of you have joined dr mahendra sir class and which he has uh, very well classified how you, how we can classify a gastric dilatation case from a gastric dilatation gdb case in gdb cases we are getting a two pouch in the stomach while in case of gastric dilatation there will be a single pouch i will show you in the next class in x ray and in ultrasound when i will deal with x ray and ultrasonography so the next is gi tract ultrasonography we go for gi tract ultrasonography and now i will show a very very important disease in a small animal especially in dogs and cats where the animals uh, suffer from uh, uh, failure to fast the feces and in that cases uh, when we go for ultrasonography this is a clear cut diagnostic technique called a bull's eye appearance you will find a, a into susceptions into can be diagnosed with the help of this ultrasonography as well as the different layers the so all the four layers the is very very important whichever size is increased uh, we can go for diagnosis if the mucosa size is increased uh, there first we will learn the different normal layers of the gi tract then we will try to appreciate the different types of lesion present in the gi tract then at last the endoscopy that is the direct visualization for gi tract ulceration or for the foreign body for retrieval of the foreign body and as well as for Uh, going for the biopsy from that region so all these are the special examination no this is not the simple examination but for before going for a special examination we have to learn the simple techniques of gi tract now these are some of the uh, mouth gag picture i have brought and this is the mouth gag where we have available here in, in in surgery department but this is the real mouth gag and uh, that is very very useful both in canine uh, both in uh, bovine as well as for equines this is the mouth gag we are trying to purchase it cost around 50000 and it is made of aloe and, and it's a very lighter one so this if this mouth gag is available then we will very easily it is easy to us to pass a stomach tube or a endotracheal tube in the large animal as well as in equines so there are some of the mouth gags that are used uh, in, in this practical and you see how the mouth gag is applied this is just a simple techniques and mouth gag application yeah. after this it's very very easy to examine in this region and then you see the last two days ago 
uh, this mouth gag, uh, the third, uh, this mouth gag was applied. This mouth gag was applied uh, in this cattle. This cattle was profusely bleeding from the mouth as well as from the nasal cavity. And for the first two days, it was uh, misdiagnosed. It may be a case of uh, cystosomiasis. It may be a case of, uh, for, uh, it may be a case of tuberculosis. It may be a case of, uh, uh, although it was positive for uh, thalidiosis, but uh, there was a big, big tumor inside the oral cavity. Then you see, just yesterday, uh, this uh, canine was brought here and thanks to this mouth gag, okay? This mouth gag, there are three different size of mouth gag is available for canine here. But uh, take care of um, the uh, problem that is with the canine. This is not a ruminant, this is a biting animal. And we have to put this in a very, very careful manner. Otherwise, you may get injured by the animal. Uh, uh, because the animal will not allow to put a mouth gag, especially the canine, in the mouth cavity. But we, for the examination, the animal showing the lesion, the animal was showing a lesion of salivation. Animal was not able to control the tongue. The tongue was protruded. So we have to examine the mouth cavity, taking all precaution. You see, I have bearded a double layered this uh, um, uh, hand gloves because there is always a chance of anyone why so much precaution is taken when we examine the animal for mouth lesion any animal not only canine and feline but for large animal also because we are not knowing if the animal is salivating it may be a suspected for rabies okay it may be a case of dog bite and this was the case at a later time when we examine the mouth of this animal with the help of this mouth gag, not, no lesion was found in the oral cavity. But the animal was salivating. And just after that, when we are going the diagnosis of this, the owner said that few days ago, it was bitten by a dog and the dead dog died. So you see how much uh, dangerous it is. You, so you have to take all the precautions when you are going for the examination of the mouth cavity. With, but without examining the mouth cavity, it is very, very difficult to appreciate the lesion, especially present in the orodental region or in the tongue or in the pharyngeal region. You can examine, you can see the pharyngeal region and, and during the passing of the endotracheal tube or the passing of the stomach tube is very, very easy when we have this uh, small instrument of the mouth gag. Now, this was also a case uh, I think the sixth to seventh man, I, I, I think uh, I have shown this picture also. This was a GDB case. Sorry, not a GDB case. This is the gastric dilatation case and the animal was about to die. So immediately the stomach tube was passed and the so huge amount of fluid was drained from it. Uh, and also the stomach was punctured. So this is the method. If you have the ability, at that time the mouth gag was not applied here. So it was done in a manual manner. You just, you see, how the manually we have opened the mouth and then we have put this uh, tube inside the stomach and the fluid was drained out and the animal was saved. So, the, and, and at the same time, the endotracheal tube was applied so that there is no chance of aspiration pneumonia. Because once the fluid start coming out from this region, there is always a chance of aspiration pneumonia. So, coming back to the our real role, our role is to see the large animal, in which the cattle and buffalo is very, very important. And you know, they suffer from so many diseases of the rumen and the reticulum, omesum and abomesum, and in which um, we have gone through so many diseases. But the most important one is the disease of the rumen in which acidosis, alkalosis, all the protozoa activity, any other disease that affect the protozoa activity, even a long use of uh, uh, antibiotics. So in that condition, the collection of human fluid is our target. And for just for uh, estimation of pH initially, or for treatment also, for example, cut transferring treatment. So for that, you have to collect large amount of human fluid, and that is not possible through a small needle and a syringe. But for diagnostic purpose, or for removal of uh, gas, I think um, a few days back, 
when one cattle of our farm was suffering from severe acidosis is about to die because of a severe distension not only on the left side but also on the right side immediately there was a small incision was made in that in the left parallel number fossa and the needle was inserted and the gas was removed at the same time the treatment was done so this will not only help in removal of the fluids examination of the renal fluid results but also in the removal of the gases for the emergency treatment of the ruminants now the second is the rumen fluid extraction pump this is really a challenge and it needs technique and it needs some uh, special precaution during insertion of this rumen extraction pump inside the mouth cavity and most of you have done this and uh, certain there are some rules and regulations for this for uh, for this method about 150 to 250 ml of fluid can be collected and large animal and in small 50 to 60 ml for the investigation and it should be done in a in a, in a rapid manner because once the fluid when come in contact with the air most of the protozoa dies because they it should be maintained in anaerobic condition so in um, it should be done in a right manners uh, the fluid has to be collected in a tight air tight manner and if it is collected it, the bottle should be tightened immediately and during the collection in the initial samples should be discarded because of the contamination with the saliva uh, and then uh, so it may produce error in the measurement of ph and it is always preferred to apply liquid paraffin or glycerin because when you insert the tube inside it may produce injury in this region for that you have to apply liquid paraffin or glycerin before inserting the tube in the mouth and when the rumen fluid is required for routine lab investigation especially for protozoa motility protozoa concentration ph measurement and very small uh, amount of rumen fluid this can be done with the help of your syringe and system called needle uh, and with with 20 and 50 ml syringe but for routine paracentesis left parallel number fossa uh, is done and for large needle bore is inserted and with a negative pressures of this uh, syringe Uh, but uh, for larger collection for example 250 ml collection of the rumen fluid uh, we can use the rumen fluid extraction pump i will show you we have a rumen fluid extraction pump here and it is designed generally for bovine and small ruminants but uh, other things can be uh, manipulated like uh, i have used the suction pump uh, successfully in the uh, removal of the fluids but it creates a great negative pressure so you have to take fair, um, care because sometimes the fibers get uh, get uh, stuck in the pipe and in that condition it may there may be some uh, problem with the fibers so for that you have to put a sieve ek challi yahan pe laga denge jisse ki fibers wahan pe uh, pipe ke andar na phase aur ja kar ke fluids ka collection us jar mein ho jaye so this will be done uh, in a practical when we will come here no this is this was a case so this type of case you will be getting and i am very happy that uh, we have a treated just recently we have a treated a case of a vip here um, and it was showing this type of problem this was the case reported from a village uh, i think uh, during corona time um this case uh, you see uh, can you tell me uh, what type of disease this animal is suffering from anyone if you have seen i think uh, it was just before corona why i am giving three picture here from the picture what inference you can make anyone hello ajit yes sir yes sir so kya maine kyun shock hai kya sir ha is gaay ka ek picture lagaya aur teen picture maine lagaya hai ek aadmi ghaas khila raha hai इस पिक्चर से आप क्या आप इंटरफेरेंस लगा सकते हैं किस चीज की डायग्नोसिस के लिए हो सकती है सर चोक है क्या अच्छा कैसे आपको लग रहा होगा कि चोक है कि कौन से आ, किस कंडीशन से आपको लगा कि चोक हो सकता है सर एक तो एक तो हेड को लोअर करके रखा गया है यस वेरी गुड एक ये पोजीशन और यस सर वो देखिए सॉरी आप... आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही हेलो हेलो यस सर आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही थी सर यस सर अभी आ रही है हां हां तो एक्चुअली मैंने आज अपना वो लगाना बीट लगाना भूल गया लाया नहीं अह घास तो ले रही है कैटल देख रहे हैं घास तो ले रही है लेकिन सर दूसरे पिक्चर में है कि वो लेके फिर निकाल दी कहां पे 
रिगर्जिटेट कर दी इस पिक्चर में सर देखिए ओके वेरी गुड ये बहुत ही बड़ा ऑब्जर्वेशन है इसलिए मैंने इस पिक्चर को लगाया इसका वीडियो भी है मेरे पास दिस टाइप ऑफ कैटल दिस इज अ केस ऑफ रिगर्जिटेशन ओके सो इट मे बी इंटर लुमिनल और इट मे लुमिनल or it may be from outside if there is a swelling of the gland from the outside it will press here in that condition also the animal will cough during the uh, during eating during taking food inside the mouth cavity jaise hi isko nigalne ka koshish karega usko coughing mechanism aayega second is if it is a case of obstruction the animal will eat the animal will be hungry the animal will take the food but after some time you this is you see here she is eating uh, cow is eating cow is eating but at the, after some time after chewing you see this food is regurgitated here so this is an indication that there might be some foreign body especially uh, the round object inside this uh, 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 food pipe so you have to diagnose with the help of a putting a stomach tube inside where there is obstruction or sometime also whenever there is a big pressure from the outside pharyngeal lymph node inflammation retropharyngeal lymph node inflammation is there in that condition animal will take the water it, it, it act like a partial obstruction so animal will take food and when she will feel pain she will regurgitate so these are the two very very important condition in which there may be a complete obstruction but when there is a complete obstruction there will be cattle will be bloated but when there will be a partial obstruction the cattle will not be bloated the gas will pass out and for that condition you have to examine the cattle first from the outside then by passing of the stomach tube so i think most of you are this is your batch i think so uh, and in the previous this is your batch na ajit is here okay so this is the method uh, but uh, um again uh, i do, we don't have a mouth gag at that in the farm we should have applied mouth gag here we should have seen the mouth cavity properly otherwise this is just like a passing of a stomach tube okay so this is the proper method of passing of a stomach tube but with the application of a mouth gag here if the mouth gag is ability there is a very very little chance that the cattle may stuck your hand sometime you have to put your, see the oral cavity by putting your hand inside so that can be only be done when we have a mouth cavity otherwise this is the method for the passing of the tube and we can attach here the rumen fluid extraction pump we can attach here and then the fluid can be extracted in that instrument so these are the method of uh, passing of the stomach tube i think uh, your batch has just uh, done this practical uh, just you go through this slide we have to apply the uh, lubricants on that we have to take care how do you have to uplift the mouth cavity then then you have to put the tube inside and once 100 to 200 ml fluid is collected then suction should be stopped and the stomach tube should be removed slowly so these are some of the procedure you have to write in the copy and then the our basic part when we have collected the rumen fluid we have to examine the rumen fluid by different properties the first one is the normal color and uh, this is the chart in which normal and abnormal color is given once you collect the fluid you will have to see in a grazing animal it will be pure green straw feeding it will be brownish or yellow brown high concentrate it is brownish gray so this is the normal color then abnormal color will come uh, actually this is the part of a gi and um, theory also i am uh, you must have gone Uh, but you just uh, read this also as a theory part most of the time some of the question is asked from this region if it is a dark green is a chronic indigestion milky white this type of question is asked especially in case of lactic acidosis and dark brown in case of alkalosis so these are some of the two very very important question is asked from this region especially in theory also in some of the examination now the smell and the order of uh, that uh, uh fluid is very very important generally it is aromatic and vinegar like but ab abnormal uh, smell can come especially bahut khatta bolta hai na ise jaise ki aap log kehte hain bahut khatta as aa raha hai so this is an uh, acid indication of acidosis foul smell like an ammonical smell is there in case of alkalosis and sweetish in case of ketosis uh, main aapko bata nahi sakta hu ki ye kaisa gandh hoga आपको जस्ट मैं बता रहा हूँ नाउ यू हैव टू इमेजिन 
uh, such type of smell. Then the consistency is very, very important. Uh, if it is watery, it's an indication. You see here, the indication, it indicates, uh, indicates the flora. It happens in acidosis and in alkalosis, watery in nature, highly viscous. Suspected that the human fluid is mixed with saliva. If it's highly viscous is there, therefore I told that uh, just discard the uh, initial fluid because it may change the pH also. Then prothe in case of prothe bloats, that it can, that can also be judged when you will insert the needle inside the left paralumbar fossa. If the animal is suffering from prothe bloats, the, initially the bubbles will come and then the sometime bubbles will not come. The gas will come and then gas will start uh, stop coming and you will see the bubbles uh, in, in, on the tip of the, uh, that needle. Uh, so if it is slimy and porridge, it is the indication of vagus indigestion. This question is also very, very important. Now pH, as we know, the normal pH of the human fluid is varied from 6.5 to uh, 7.5. And in case of a start in per acute abnormal condition, these are the some of the variation of the in acidosis, the pH of the rumen, and in case of alkalosis, it goes above eight. So these are some of the uh, not the special, but uh, most of the time we have to depend upon this test also. So again, the very important test called sedimentation of rumen fluid. If if it normal, it is in three to five minutes. If it is abnormal. It will be rapid or delayed sedimentation or absence of sedimentation activity. So these are some of the indication of disease. So these are the abnormal condition. Now it's very important is for the cellulose digestion test. If it is normal, it should be 40, 42 to 48 hour, fairly active. It indicates fairly active human microflora. And if it is abnormal, the delayed type and delayed is there. We will do this test in our lab and you will come here. It's a very important test. Just we take a dhaga lena hai. So low digestion test mein human fluid ko collect karna hai. Uspe ek beads laga dena hai. Taki wo dhaga ko hang kare. Aur anero upar se pura pack karke dhaga ko laga ke chhod dena hai. Agar cellulose ka digestion hoga. In dhaga jo ki cotton ka hoga. Wo cellulose ka hoga. Agar wo digest ho jata hai. It's an indication the flora is working. And if it is not. If more than this hour. It is an indication that the flora is very, very less and not working. So I think 